Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a problem which is uh, based on the calculation of cumulative standard axial load or value of the load which is uh, a representation of the cumulative standard axials. Now why is it required? Now for designing a flexible payment we need the overall effect of all the repetitions of each vehicle class so we have to get an idea about the effect of the load of the various vehicles which may occur throughout the lifespan of a particular pavement so what is CSA CSA or the cumulative standard axles it is the effect of the load repetitions of each vehicle class during the desired design period of n number of years so it is represented by the formula which is given below as csa equals to 365 into 365 into nf 1 plus r m plus n so now we will come back to this later first let's see about the problem what is uh, what is given in the question let us discuss that first now here is the problem the traffic studies and axle load distribution studies carried out during project preparation indicated that there are 5600 in case one there are 5600 commercial vehicles per day with real axle loads in the range of 2500 to 3500 kg and the growth rate of 6.5% per annum now here one class of the vehicle is given in which 5600 commercial vehicles per day will be occurring the traffic study the states that the number of commercial vehicles will be around 5600 commercial vehicles for a uh, day now the load for the real axle for this particular vehicles is given in the range of 2500 to 3500 kg now the load are not given in a particular manner because there will be a varied number of com uh, commercial vehicles so it is given in the range 2500 kg up to 3500 kg and the growth rate for per annum is also given the number of uh, the, the the rate of growth of the vehicles is also given here it is 6.5 percent per annum and for the second class 1900 heavy ve commercial vehicles with rear axle loads in the range of 11,000 to 13,000 kg and the growth rate will be around 4.5 percent per annum the road payment is expected to be constructed in a period of three years after this study the row uh, in this question it is stated that the road will be constructed in a period of three years after the study so after this traf particular traffic study the road will be started construction after a period of three years and the flexible payment structure is to be designed for a design life of 15 years now here the road will start constructing after th three years of the study and the design life of the particular payment structure is 15 years now we have to determine or determine the value of CSA that is cumulative standard axle load so now in cumulative standard load the formula is this CSA or the cumulative number of standard axles is given by the formula CSA equals to 365 into NF into 1 plus R to the power M plus N minus 1 divided by R. Now let's see what are the notations. What what are these N, F, R, M and N? Where the N represents initial number of heavy or initial traffic heavy vehicles or the in uh, the 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 initial traffic it will represent. Then F is the EWLF or VDF which we have already solved a problem in earlier video or of my video lectures 
uh, of different uh, vehicles, EWF or VDF of the uh, different vehicles. Then R, small r is the percentage growth of the vehicle per annum. R is the percentage growth of the vehicles per annum. Then M plus N, M plus N. N, we know, we know that N is the uh, lifespan of the particular design design frame in so now what is m m is nothing but the period of delay between the date of the traffic study and the date of the completed construction and opening to the traffic is estimated now this m will represent the delay where where is m now what does it say three years after the completion of the study so the delay period m will be equals to three years and the design period will be design life of the particular payment will be 15 so in all together the growth period will be or the overall design life will be m plus n now in this particular problem we have two classes of vehicles the first one is the the first one is the first one is the vehicle class one in which the initial number of heavy vehicles or the initial traffic value n is the number of commercial vehicles was 5600 and the growth rate given is r1 is equals to 6.5 percent per annum or if we convert it into decimal format it is 0 0.065 now growth period growth period where we have this will be common for both the classes because we are going to design it for 15 years and uh, delay in the period of the uh, study and the uh, actual uh, uh, accommodation of the traffic or actual start of the uh, start of using the pavement is three years then the design life 15 so 3 plus 15 equals to total growth period is 18 years overall total design period is design life is this now average load is given by 1 p plus uh, average load p1 is equals to now here we have given a load range that is 2000 for plus 1 this is 2500 to 3500 so we will take the average of this to extremities that is 2500 to 3500 divided by 2 which will give us 3000 kg which will be the average load of that particular vehicle class now standard load we have is 8160 earlier in the previous problem also we have already discussed in the previous word problem it was 8.16 ton now it is expressed in kg here so it is 8160 kg now we will find out EWLF or capital F1 that is P1 this is the fourth power equation that is P1 divided by P equals to 3000 divided by 8160 it gives it gives this value this will be the value of F1 now put all the values in the formula for CSA hence for cumulative standard Excel for class 1 of the vehicle is 3006 365 into n1 f1 1 plus r1 m plus n minus 1 divided by r substitute all the values then we will get 1.19 msa now what is msa msa is million standard axles for class 1 we have already finished now it's time for class 2 in the vehicle class 2 the initial number of heavy vehicles or initial traffic N2 is given by 1,900 vehicle. Which uh, this is already been given in the question. Now the growth rate R2 for the vehicle class 2 is 4.5 percent per annum or 0 0.045. The growth total growth period will be same 18 years, 3 plus 15 years, which is 18 years. Now average load. For P1, P2, the it will be the average of the two load values that is given in the question. That is one eleven thousand to thirteen thousand divided by two, which gives us twelve thousand kg. Now the standard load is this, which we already know. We have already solved this particular similar to this particular uh, 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 the this particular equation we have already used in previous problem also substituting p and p2 and p1 in this particular formula we get the value of f2 or ewf2 
they should be EWF2 or VDF2 is given as 4.677 uh, now substitute all the values of N2, F2, R2, M plus N and R2 in this particular formula we get the value of CSA2 or the cumulative standard axial value of the vehicle class 2 as 87.07 million standard axles. Now in the question they have asked us to calculate the value of the CSA for the particular pavement which is comprised of two vehicle classes. First class was 5600 commercial vehicles per day and the second class was 1900 vehicle commercial heavy commercial vehicles per day so the design value of the CSA will be the cumulative of both the standard axles cumulative standard axles that is CSA 1 plus CSA 2 the value of the CSA 1 was 1.19 MSA and the CSA 2 was 87.07 .07 MSA so the total value or the total design value of CSA or the cumulative standard axle value is 88.26 or let us say 88 MSA. Thank you everyone. We will come back to you after. Uh, we will come back with some other problems next time. Thank you.